dear Countess. I do hope you had a good seat. Perfect. Yes, yes. I, I was in a perfect position to see everything. Good. Countess, I've been thinking. You didn't come here by chance tonight. I didn't. <laughs> no, that's right. I, I didn't. The Lord invited you. He still works in mysterious ways. But he is never wrong. Should neither of us ever forget that. He sent you here for one good reason. To protect you. Now, you know that, don't you? What am I being protected from? You heard me out there tonight? Call them and all those sinners? I can't reach them all. I mean, with seven shows a week, even with seven meetings a week, I can only scratch the surface, because that city out there is just festering with sin. I've always been somewhat confused as to the exact definition of sin. Sin is disobedience to God. And we are all sinners to the extent that we are conceived and born in sin. That's God's punishment to man for defying him in the Garden of Eden. He had to send down his only son to redeem us from it. Yes, forgive me, it all seems such a long time ago, so impersonal in a way, so vindictive somehow. You don't think God might be a woman, do you? Well, certainly not. No, ma'am, I, I can assure you God is not a woman. He created man in his own image. And he forbade Adam and Eve to eat of the apple. He knew Satan would tempt him to disobey. But he was testing man to see if man would serve him or Satan. He wasn't sure. Well, of course he was sure. God can't be surprised. Oh, how dull for him. He knew Adam and Eve would eat of the apple. But if he knew, why did he bother? That seems rather frivolous. I mean, wouldn't you agree? It's such an awful lot of trouble to go to just because of a personal fight with Satan. Actually, if he hadn't let them eat the apple in the first place, he needn't have sent his son. Well, ma'am, the fact is, he did send his son. So now there is no longer any excuse for the obstinate sinner. The path to salvation is open to every Christian. Oh, it's limited, is it? I beg your pardon? Limited to Christians. Well, in a sense, yes. What, what sort of sense is that? It's very good sense, Countess. I mean, there is only one true religion. Well, who decided that? Did God take care of that, too? I mean, I'm not what you call a much-traveled woman. But I seem to recall in some of the better quality pictorial magazines that in several of the more out-of-the-way places, God hasn't made that quite clear. The point is, we're still trying to, to push God's message across. Yes. Seems odd he didn't do it himself. I mean, he arranged all the nasty bits so well. Shall we say, tomorrow night at 11? Yes. And remember, it's just between you and me. And God, of course, if you think he'd feel left out. <laughs> 